Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect GoDaddy domain to Go High Level in 2024. So today, we're exploring how to seamlessly connect your GoDaddy domain with Go High Level. By integrating this platform, you can easily manage your domain settings and websites within the Go High Level environment. So in this tutorial, we will guide you through the process or steps of connecting your GoDaddy domain to Go High Level. So make sure to stick by the dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience so first you'll need to go and open uh, your browser for me here i'm using break for you you can use whatever you want go and open this tab or go to this url section open two tabs so the first step you'll have to go and type go high level Dot com and hit the enter button the second tab it should be go daddy.com and hit the enter button so you make sure to connect on both accounts so if you have any uh, problem in language like this just scroll down and guess and go daddy and yeah you can change language from here so make sure to have english should be somewhere here so yeah uh, for go high level of course make sure to go and click on login so login into your account if you have an account but if you don't have an account yet of course you can log in using google if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of login into your account if you don't have an account yet you'll be able to go and create a new account fill up just this informations fill up your cards informations and start your 14 days free trial of course if you don't want it you can cancel it after for godaddy of course you'll be able to for me as you can see i'm already logged into my account but if it's your first time you will be taken here, so you'll be able to click on it. Click on uh, here, of course, to log into your account. You can use Google, Facebook, or Apple to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, as an example, you'll be able to create a new account using one of those three options also. So once you're logged in, you'll find yourself here without any problems. So if you want to establish, of course, connection, the connection manually, you'll have to do some steps, which is access domain settings in GoDaddy configure DNS settings, add some CNAME record, add like other records if needed, and verify and save the settings. As an example, I'll just show you uh, the steps like very fast. So an example, if we go here to domains, and as an example, we can browse uh, through the domains that we have. I'll just go here and click on that and click on my product to see the domains that I have. For me, I guess my domain yeah, is not like there anymore because like uh, I did not pay back for it. One year has passed and I did not renew it so for you you'll have to go and click on manage domains go to your dns settings and basically on your dns settings you will have to add the c name or canonical name record to your dns for me as you can see i'll not be able to show you exactly how and this record typically points the www subdomain to your go high level domain and simply enter the appropriate detail provided by go high level and of course depending on the, your setup you may need to add additional DNS records such as an A record or TXC records. And you basically can follow the Go High Level instructions to add any necessary records for your configurations. Of course, where you'll get these configurations from just Go High Level, basically. And of course, once you're added your required DNS records, verify the settings and save your setting and your uh, save your changes. And it may take some time for the changes to propagate across the internet. So be patient. It might even take up to two days. So you'll have to be patient. But for me, I'm not using this uh, manual options today. For me, we'll use or we'll try to use another uh, app called Zapier. So you can go open your tab, type Zapier. If it's your first time, basically you'll be taken to this page. Here you can see if you have an account, by any chance, click on login to login into your account. You can use Facebook, Microsoft, uh, Google, or even SSO as an example to login into an account. If you don't have an account, you can simply go and sign up with Google if you don't want to fill up all the information, or you can do it manually. Depending on whatever you want. It's boring to fill up the, uh, the information normally. So people normally log in with Google or any other option that's available. So once you're logged into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself here. As you can see, that's going to be your dashboard. So the first thing is to check the apps if it's in there in Zapier. So if you go here to the list panel and click on apps, and basically I'll just go here and look for Go High Level. Normally I'll not find Go High Level, but of course we'll, need, we'll use another app, which is a Lead Connector. It's basically go high level as you can see if we go and click on it connects they'll ask us to enter the api key if we click in here they'll take us basically to connect to our go high level account so if you're already logged in they'll not take you here they'll take you basically to uh the page where you will find your api key basically just go and copy that api key and enter it here if you don't have it generated yet click on generate and 
enter it here then click on yes continue to delete connector and you'll be able to uh, connect your go high level for godaddy let's check if there is godaddy in here as example just enter godaddy it seems like okay let me just type that as example so it seems like godaddy does not exist uh, exists again also of course i can explore more connections and check if it's in here so example i'll just type here godaddy and okay so it seems like it's not here like let's just check again yeah does not seem like they have godaddy in here so basically it seems like just normal way that's gonna work of course you can as example just do uh, normally the manual stuff if you want to but normally the zapier will help you a lot how if you still want to use this of course be my guest it's actually automated a lot of stuff as you can see i have a lot of things here automated of course uh all, all of them are off but i can turn them on whenever i want for me i'll just turn it off so of course as you can see you can automate a lot of stuff i've already made a video a lot of videos how to do that there's even an ai option that will help you even uh, automate a lot of stuff so make sure to go and try to use so it seems like the only way that we have simply go and locate the domain that you want go to the domain that you want of course make sure to go to your uh, dns settings and simply add this the things that they tell you of course on go high level where you will find this probably in go high level basically you'll go to your dashboard and go high level go to this list panel uh, go to the list panel that they have click on panels and website and once you click on it of course you'll be taken to another page click on settings then click on custom domain once you click on custom domain you'll be able to of course to set up your custom domain on your membership sites and from there of course they will tell you exactly what uh dns records you should enter uh, on godaddy or whatever like you're using other than godaddy if you don't want to use godaddy as example you'll be able to so of course first you'll have to enter the domain that you have here in godaddy and after that of course make sure that you have uh, of course you will need to make sure that you have either an a pointing uh, or a c name record pointing to preview membership of course and etc basically they'll tell you everything that you will need to do in your dns record just follow those steps and you will be able to connect it without any problem so that's going to be it for me today there you have it of course you've connected godaddy to go high level so thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye